It's a capacitor-based residential power conditioner. We've got it set up on a demonstration board here with a typical appliance motor. The motor we're using today is one that would be used in a swamp cooler or similar to a washer or a dryer. It's much smaller than an air conditioner motor, but it's equivalent to most loads in a home. With uh, this meter, we're showing the amperage that's being drawn onto the board to support the devices on the board, the meters, our unit, and a Dayton motor. This motor is labeled at 6.8 amps, and again, very typical of, of inductive loads in a home. With the unit off, the board is drawing 5.7 amps, and the motor is drawing 5.7 amps. So we have a fairly balanced load. With the unit on, the amperage being drawn onto the board decreases to 2.4, but yet the amperage on the motor remains the same at 5.8. The motor is not aware of the unit being on or off. Same amperage, voltage, torque, and RPMs were tested at the University of Santa Clara and shown to be the same with the unit on or off. The amount of amperage being drawn onto the board to support the motor is decreased, and that's where your savings occur. All of our units are surface mount. In this particular case, there's been a, a hole uh, drilled with the wires coming in the top. There are three wires. Two of them go to a dedicated two-pole 20 amp breaker. One goes to the ground bar. The demonstration today is with a meter that will show us the power factor correction with the unit on and with it off. Okay, here we have a power factor of 0.47 with the unit off. with the unit on, and now it's 0.85. On the demo board, we saw an improvement on the consumption of the amperage. This is showing how the power factor correction adjusts for that amperage draw. The car wash in the Tescadero, California. With the unit off, the current power factor on the car wash is 0.67. With the unit on, it will increase to over eight. By testing it with this meter on the amperage load with small appliances on in the home, the current amperage reading is 8.3. With the unit on, the amperage rating is 4.3. We've cut the amperage in half. As far as the power factor, we change it to the power factor setting and we find that the power factor with the unit off was extremely poor, 0 0.05. With the unit on, it increases to 0.98. A significant increase, probably the most dramatic increase I've seen on power factor improvement.